What's going on, guys? All right, today we have the Sense Cyclone tank. And I'm going to give this another shot. I'm going to try out this other coil that came with it. Um, the one I had in it didn't last all that long. It's a real different tank. I've got it in pieces right now because I just washed it out. So I'm going to uh, put it all together for you and uh, show you how to set it up and we'll vape it and we'll see how it goes so this tank is weird uh, there's a lot of different stuff about it it does come with an extra glass section which is nice it's right there whatever um which is nice it comes with two coils the other coil i believe was a point point five this is going to be a point two um what you might notice there's no airflow through this coil. Um, pretty much, it's got a chamber, um, and as the air comes down and across the top, back up, that's how it vapes. Um, sorry, I think that was the dryer. <laughs> the next, next room over. Um, anyway, so if you've ever, like, just kind of hit the button on your mod and left it, and then took a pull after it was done it's kind of like that like it it's it's odd it's odd feeling we're gonna give this other coil a shot though and we'll see if it's any better than the 0.5 um i will say the flavor was good on it it's just just weird totally weird hmm. there's no o-ring on this coil we'll see how that goes might not need it no airflow that goes through it, right? Whatever. Wonky as shit. Alright, so first thing we're going to do as I have another video on is I'm going to prime this coil. And it does have the screen in it like many other coils. I'm going to put a bunch on the screen. Let it soak in a bit. Then I'm going to put some right down in it. Kind of roll it around. Now it does, these coils do have like giant wick openings. As you can see there, they're pretty big and there's a lot of them. Roll it around, roll it around. And I want to make sure this gets really nice and wet because a dry hit would be a legit real dry hit in this thing. Totally getting there. Stick with it. Throw some more in there. Oh, actually, just plug it up. Actually, with this coil, I think you could probably just dump it right in. It's not like it's going to leak out the bottom or anything, right? Didn't even think of that. It's not soaking in very easily. Oh, you can blow through it and put it right into the cotton. That works. Some more juice in there. Now it's starting to pull it in pretty good. More juice in there. Ooh, damn, I just filled it up. Totally getting there though. I'm just barely blowing into it to force the uh, force whatever we got going on there. All right, so this is your. I think this is about as far as this thing comes apart. This is as far as water it's about as far as I want to take it apart um, this is your bottom tank section that goes over your coil here there's the inside like I said it's an odd tank and there's your top chimney yeah the coil's nice and wet now so just go ahead and screw this on 
nice and snug. Just gonna keep on going with it. Okay. So your airflow control is up here. Like I said, strange. So we'll take our chimney piece now. Our our top tank section. Go ahead and screw it on. Nice and snug. Not crazy, just snug. All right. Now this is our top cap. This is the provided drip tip. Now, none of my drip tips really work that great with this tank. So I'll be using the drip tip that they uh, provided. Um, I'm gonna fill it up with this giant bottle of mech sauce. And I'm using uh, Captain Loopy because it's a very, very um, familiar juice to me. Um, it's something that I know it really well. So I should be able to talk about the flavor pretty well. And I want to show that you can fill it with this big ass bottle. It's a little bit of a pain, but it starts going down once the air starts going up out of the uh, other uh, hole. There's two holes on the top. Um, one of the good things about this tank is it does hold a fair amount of juice. I don't remember the exact number, but I'm going to guess it's probably like a good four or five mils maybe. And because of the juice color, you probably won't be able to see it, but it actually filled up this bottom tank as well. Get the water off of there. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw this top cap on. Oop. I was filling it with the juice control open. Oh no. All right, so once I get this on, I'll show you. All right. So there is juice control on this as well. Um, you've got a little tiny dot to indicate there's a little vapor symbol right there. And then if you rotate it, that's a little droplet symbol. So when you go to fill it and you go to unscrew this, it actually puts it in the correct spot. And when you tighten it back on, it puts it in the correct spot, which is kind of cool. Here's the provided drip tip. Now this might be super flooded because I, uh, I just filled it up with the wrong setting. So we will see. It's not. A little juicy, nothing crazy. So it is a, a tall tank. Hang on. Let me grab. So it's actually looks to be exactly the same height without the drip tip and without the stupid top airflow that I hate. Um, it's a pretty much the same height as the TFV4. And it is 22 millimeters. So. Let me turn this down so that uh, I don't fry the coil right off the bat. It's a 0.2 coil, so I'm going to start out like 50 watts shouldn't be that much for this coil at all. Supposedly, supposedly this can handle a full 150 watts. Um, I don't know if I'll get there. I don't really see the point in it. <laughs> 50 watts ain't doing nothing. Getting a lot of spit and gurgling. It's just not enough power. Push it right up to uh, 74. That's what I ended on. Let's try that. Get that. Now the coil is breaking in, so I can't be too critical right now. Very odd. The flavor is actually pretty decent. All right, I'm gonna bring this coil in. And I'll be back to talk to you guys some more. Deuces. What's going on, guys? Back with Cyclone Tank. 
Uh, this is actually the, the next day. I wanted to give this coil a fair shake. Um, unfortunately, it's doing exactly the same thing as the first coil. And that is just coating my mouth with juice. Um, the little blades in there, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. Anyway, there's little blades in there to supposedly prevent spit back, but I think what they're really doing is just aerating tons of spit back because I'm getting like a, an even coating of juice in my mouth. This thing uses so much juice. Yeah. I can move it on my tongue and I can feel the juice in my mouth. It makes me cough like crazy because when you, you actually inhale juice, um, I like a lot of things about this tank. I just don't like how it vapes uh, at all. I've tried both coils out. Both coils did the same thing to me. Um, I like the juice flow control, although I don't know how necessary blue juice flow control is when you're filling it. Honestly, TFE4, no juice flow control when filling it, it's fine. Um, Super Tank, Super Tank Mini, no juice flow control of any kind while filling it, and they're both fine. Um, they don't gurgle after filling, or if they do, it's maybe one hit. Um, and that's if you leave it open for an extended period of time. I gotta say, I just don't like the Cyclone tank. Um, the airflow control ring at the top, I have it closed. I'm not using it at all. And it's leaking juice. I don't know if you can see, it's a little brown right there. Hold on. See the juice collecting? Juice right there. I mean, just because there's so much spit pack coming up. Um, try both coils. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. If you have this tank and you love it, um, you know, more power to you, but I, I don't I don't like it. I don't like the way it vapes. The flavor's phenomenal, but that's because I'm just getting straight juice in my mouth. It's... Performance is great. Tons of juice. Tons of juice right now. So, with that being said, this thing's coming off right now. Put it on my desk. TFV4. Going right back on this puppy. Turn the sucker down a little bit. Doesn't need quite as much power. Seventy-eight point five watts. Perfect. Delicious. Are you going to go spend a bunch of money on a giant tank? Granted, the TFE4 is um, wider. It's got a larger diameter. What the hell is going on with this thing? It's a large diameter. They have the mini out now, which I'm sure is just as good as the, the large. I think it's the same height. It's just 22 millimeter diameter. I would go for this. Um, if you want to spend a lot less and get a tank that's pretty much as good, Super Tank Mini, even though it's a real pain in the ass to get apart. Um, but I'd say for the price of your tanks out there, TF4, TFV4 is where my money's at. I don't typically review things that I don't like, but I don't want you guys to go out and spend 35, 40 bucks on the Cyclone tank and just be disappointed because that's what I am. I, w I had really high hopes for it. Maybe if they come out with some new coils or something like that, I'll give them a shot. But as of right now, I'm not even going to use it. Not at all. All right, guys. That's it. I'll catch you later.